Hey guys, welcome to this brand new video, and before I get into the hypocrites and liars, I should probably tell you that my phone might fuck up throughout the whole thing, and if the camera quality is shit, it's because I dropped my phone in a fucking sink today. <laughs> Now, I'm smart as heck, alright? And with that smartness that I have, I decided to drop my phone in a sink while I was giving my dog a bath. But anyway, into the video, I wanted to tell you guys about hypocrites and liars and such. And I should probably start off with a story, like I know my own personal story, off of what I've experienced. What am I doing with my hands? Now, I'm a nice guy, and I try not to be a hypocrite when I, you know, shouldn't be because there's no good reason for you to be a hypocrite unless your thoughts have changed. But if you're in an argument with someone and you decide to be a hypocrite, wrong wrong choice, wrong choice. So those of you who know about the whole Keemstar drama that has been going on around YouTube, I should explain it before I get into it because some people might not know. So with that, Keemstar is this guy who reports drama when really he causes the drama and he is a huge hypocrite because he has said the number one golden rule of YouTube is to not post private conversations on social media. However, this fucker decides to post private conversations on social media to expose other people when really he doesn't expose them. And I, you know, I have an ex-friend who is just like him. Plenty of you know who I'm talking about, and that's my friends. I might get shit on for this, but you know what? I, I, don't, I really don't give a fuck. I probably have crazy eyes right now, but really, I'm super hyper because I've taken like five fucking naps today because I'm a lazy piece of shit. <laughs> and so, going into it, uh, he got mad at me because I was talking to this one person that he didn't want me talking to. And I told him he can't really control who I can talk to. And it's a long story. But anyways, long story short, he didn't want me talking to this one person, and then I was pissed off at him. About a week or two later, he decides to say, Oh man, I thought we were cool because he was trying to joke around with me in a group chat with our friends. I mean, you can't give me a few weeks and then it's like hanging a towel in the middle of the night, on a rainy night, actually, and you expect it to be dry in the morning. This motherfucker thinks he can just leave me hanging there on a rainy night and think for me to forgive him. How the fuck does that work? But anyway, he decides to start telling me, dude, it was a joke, calm down, blah, blah, blah. And so I say, you can't do that. He starts telling me, whoa, calm down there, Keem. All right, all right, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> but dude, I don't know where the Keem came from, but he just started to say, hey, buddy, like he said, exact words, whoa, calm down there, Keem. This motherfucker, I, I got just completely set off at this point. So I just got completely set off at this point, and I sent him a long paragraph-ass text of just completely roasting him. But I also were like was pointing out facts of what he's done and why a lot of people don't like him at the moment. I mean, can you blame me, though? He was calling me fucking Keemstar, dude. Fuck that. It's just... So many people don't like him because he always starts drama, which is why I think he's game star. <laughs> he causes a lot of it, and then he starts becoming a hypocrite. And then he plays the innocent card when it all backfires on him. Like, what the fuck? Anyways, about the text, when I send him that text, he takes a screenshot of it and posts it on fucking Instagram. I mean, I was pretty mad, but I only found out about this a week later. And I had him blocked on Instagram and Snapchat, and I was told this by a friend. So, dude, why you gotta be a hypocrite like that? He started roasting me on Snapchat, saying just a bunch of shit that's personal. Posting private conversations on Instagram, playing the innocent card, being a huge fucking hypocrite, causing the drama, all of the drama in the first place, saying you're joking around. Look at all these fucking facts. How can you ignore these? I'm stepping my fucking foot down if this ever happens again. And you know, I kind of already did when it did start. I ain't dealing with that and I'm not dealing with it again. Now, some of my friends will know who I'm talking about. And, they, you know, they don't like him as well. And if you show him this video, I don't care. He can dislike the video and he can give me so much fucking hate. I'll just laugh it off, dude. If I get hit on my videos, I legit laugh it off. Just my last video, my friend put cringe, like... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I 
I love you, but fuck you. <laughs> but I actually got a lot of support on my last video, and I'm gonna end this video here. And I just gotta say, you guys fucking blew up my last video, and I just wanted to say thank you. That made me feel really nice, and <laughs> if you guys wanna hit that like button again, and if you wanna leave a nice comment, or hateful comment, I don't care, <laughs> just tell me what you thought about the video, and I will reply, and I will let you know what I think. I'll also point out that the reason why this video changed halfway through is because I'm kind of recording it the next day because half halfway with me making through the video the audio cut out and you couldn't hear anything and that made me really upset it made me feel worse than a fucking dildo not being used <gasps> what the fuck <laughs> your life is fucking cancer anyways guys hope you enjoyed that video peace out